Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at LDAP injection. We'll explain what LDAP injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is an LDAP injection? An LDAP injection is a vulnerability by which an attacker can influence back-end LDAP queries by injecting malicious LDAP statements via user-controllable input. What causes an LDAP injection? User input is used to dynamically build LDAP queries. If this input is not first validated, the LDAP query interpreter can be tricked into running arbitrary queries. To understand the LDAP injection vulnerability, let's look at an example of an authentication bypass. Here, an attacker submits input values that will take advantage of a back-end LDAP statement used to query users and passwords. The submitted input changes the logic of the query. The ampersand in parentheses is interpreted as a true statement. Because of this additional true statement, the password condition will be ignored. The vulnerability is exploited, giving access to an account without providing a valid password. The session cookie is returned to the browser. The attacker is now logged in as administrator. Let's take a look at another example. This time, we'll look at information disclosure through an LDAP injection. An attacker submits input values to take advantage of a different query. The submitted input changes the logic of the query so that the wildcard statement queries all users in the LDAP tree. The vulnerability is exploited in order to gain detailed information about all users in the LDAP tree, resulting in a major breach of security. LDAP injections can cause severe issues. Sensitive information about users and hosts represented in the LDAP tree could be disclosed, modified, inserted or deleted. LDAP injection could be used to bypass access control and gain access to administrator accounts. Sensitive data could be exposed, leading to privacy issues. This weakness can lead to full system compromise, loss of reputation and financial damages. To prevent LDAP injections, user input that is being used as part of an LDAP query should be sanitised first. This includes GET and POST parameters, cookies and other HTTP headers. Always use framework provided functions when available and make use of escape variables in LDAP queries. Developers should use LDAP injection resistant frameworks, automatic LDAP encoding and framework provided functions where possible. Also, apply whitelist validation. Finally, minimise LDAP binding account privileges by using the least privilege principle. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, LDAP Injections.